Hi everyone! It's been a week since last time I posted a video about the Global Virtual Design Sprint template and I just thought I would give you an update and show you again behind the scene what we have been doing so far and um, yeah, enjoy! <laughs> Alright, as you see, the first thing I did was to remove the background because I got some feedback saying that with the working mirror, it's going to be very tricky because participants can easily send stuff to the back of the background and then suddenly their stuff will be hidden in a way. So then I did that and then while I was removing all the instructions to the outline, Robert came on the mural and then he tried to get my attention but I tried to ignore him because I was recording the video but then in the end I was like hey why not it's just showing the world that how mural can help us collaborate so then I just left it, everything there and then as you see he was trying to improve on the header image that I created originally so then but then he went into problem because he didn't have the hex code for all the colors that I used. So I went to Photoshop, copied all the hex code, brought it to Miro, brought it to the working area that he was working on. So then now he could easily just copy the code and create his, his own color palette on his side. So then we did that and then I moved everything to the bottom of the mirror and I called it as a working area so it doesn't collide with all the stuff that I'm working on the top. So since I removed the background, I wanted to bring some um, background back. Now I went to Illustrator, I customized a background, pattern background, and brought it back to the mural, and I only use it for the header section. This is actually going to be the team section. And then, as you see, I still kept the Global Virtual Design Sprint logo on top and I also added like, a Slack button on the top right section there so then the participant can easily jump to the Slack session for communication from Miro. And then I brought in um, some of the dummy LinkedIn profile and then I put in some roles and trying to customize the colors. And here I went to XD to create a schedule from there. The reason I did not want to create in Miro, I could have done it, but I didn't want to because if I created in Miro and then I group everything, but if the facilitator wanted to work with the schedule and ungrouped it, then now he or she will have to deal with all the horizontal lines and all the vertical lines in the table itself. So I didn't want that to happen. So I went to XD, create that schedule itself so I brought it in mirror as an image. So there you go. Ta-da! So here's where we are at right now. As you see, I kept the Global Virtual Design Sprint logo on the top left corner to make it more like a website style. And this is going to be the vertical template. I also added the Zoom and the Slack team channel button there so, so you can jump to the communications channel very easily from the mirror itself and you don't need to go anywhere else and then here's the hero section or team section where you can put in your team name the challenge that you're working on and there will be where the facilitator will put in the real content of the team profiles and what roles each person are and very important that we put in also the time zone of each person because we're working globally there. So if you move to the right hand side, you will see the timetable that I originally created in XD as a base and then I brought it in Miro as an image. So in this schedule, you will see all the exercise where it shows what has to be done online and what has to be done offline. But what is important in this schedule is actually the different time zones that it's showing. So I kept the time so you can still click on them and edit it as needed. And then as you move to the bottom, you will see the section itself, which you can also navigate it through the outline itself. So when you click, click on the outline, you will jump to the section of the exercise. So here, for example, it jumps to the subject matter interview section. And then you will also see that I kept the instruction on the board itself because I think it's something that the participants would like to see them right away instead of like clicking on the outline. But what I did, what I added to the outline itself is some facilitator tips and some of the 
clues or questions that participants may have during the exercise. So for example, you will see that I include a facilitated tip here. So when you click on it, then it will tell you something that you need to pay attention to during this exercise as a facilitator. Or as a participant, you have some questions like, okay, what should I ask when I do this interview? Then there's a link here, you can click on it, and then it brings you to another mural or another section, which shows you some examples of the questions. And then also same that like you can navigate to the next section, also facilitating tip and mural tips. And then in the end will be a help section, which will include all the different videos or different clues that we need to pay attention to. So that's it for today. And let me know if you have any feedbacks or comments of what you are seeing so far. Just leave a comment below and see you next time. Bye.